Yes. Just me and my quarantine buddy for the week, my pick of the week, the Reverend Warhawk D.A.W. And what a cool guitar. Uh, they took the Warhawk, slimmed it down, and put the double agent pickup set in it. Super nice. The HA5 in the bridge up on the neck, their take on the P90, the 9A5. Still has a solid Carina body, three-piece Carina neck, such a joy to play and so versatile. We have Reverend Pinlock Tuners. They've got the old school thumb wheels on the bottom, which I really like. Uh, it's my favorite style of locking tuners. Uh, a Bonite nut, which is a big deal on this guitar, and I'll show you why on that as well. It has a 12-inch radius Pal Ferro fretboard, medium oval neck profile, which I believe has been on every Reverend guitar I've ever played. It's one of the things that I like about Reverend guitars. They're so consistent across their brand. There's just a Reverend feel, and they seem to pride themselves on consistency. All of their electronics from their alpha pots to their capacitors, the internal components are all plus or minus 10% tolerance, which whenever you start talking about tone of your guitar, it makes a difference. Uh, a lot of manufacturers will allow 20% plus or minus. They're a little bit tighter on those specs. Um, now, as far as the DAW that they stuck after the name on this, uh, doesn't mean digital audio workstation, the DA, is because of the double agent pickup set in here. The W is for this extremely sweet Wilkinson tremolo system that's on here. And I, I just have always liked Wilkinson trams. They seem to be somewhere in that middle range between what you can do with uh, a Fender style synchronized tram and the extremes that you can go with a Floyd Rose. But uh, I wanna show you this. Hopefully it won't let me down right now. When I was playing with it a minute ago, it was pretty surprising what it could do. Um, here we go. That was a little bit unexpected that I could take it to that extreme to really slack the strings up. And it's just because of this Bonite nut. No lubrication, this just came out of the box here. This is just a well set up, beautiful playing guitar. Um, I want to go through just a couple of clean tones for you here so I can show off their bass contour knob. This is another Reverend feature that I really love. Uh, it's more than a tone control. Uh, I'm not even going to say that I know exactly what they're doing with this, uh, but it has a low mid roll off to this. And when you add the low mids back in, it revoices the pickups so completely, uh, it's almost like having two guitars here. Uh, I'll show you a little bit here. I'm gonna go up to the P90 first. And this is with the mid range rolled out of this. Okay. Now, with the bass contour up all the way. Man. And check it out in the bridge position. I mean, that is just super nice. This is a wonderful playing guitar, reverend quality through and through, extremely light since they've slimmed this down, uh, 6.8 pounds. I mean, this is, it's almost like nothing. Um, it just feels comfortable to play. And the way they have utilized the real estate on here, this is a 24 and three quarter scale neck, but the way that it has been mounted, is it 
I mean, I should be playing up here. I'm playing here. And it's not uncomfortable at all to get up to the higher frets on it. Just great ergonomic design, reverend quality through and through. And reverend does design all of their own pickups. And one of the things that I do like in particular about the Reverend brand is if you're looking for a unique sound for yourself, this is a great place to start because all of their guitars have this combination of retro and modern vibe to them that's just makes them stand out in my books. So anyway, that's my pick for this week, the Reverend Warhawk DAW. It's slim. Y'all stay home, stay safe. See you next time.